Today I'm going to be reviewing the, Ch the Garden Children's Bible, and this is illustrated by Butch Hartman, and this is from Thomas Nelson. So this is in the International Children's Bible Translation. This is the hardcover. I believe it comes as an ebook as well, and it has um, this dust jacket on it. Underneath the dust jacket, you get the same cover as you have on that jacket there. So let's take a look at these features. Uh, it says the Gardens Children's Bible is a great way to get children, to get kids to tune into scripture. So this has some characters in it. Lenny the Lion and Lucy the Lamb are sent out on adventures by the boss, which is God, who teaches them lessons from his word along the way. Based on the animated series, The Garden, created by award-winning animator Butch Hartman, this illustrated Bible depicts over 100 stories from scripture. Kids will delight to see five full-color comic strips based on the Garden cartoon episodes. 20 more full-color pages of Bible characters and stories from scripture are sure to draw kids into the storyline of the Bible. In addition to the art, 100 short foundational pieces of wisdom from the boss appear in the Bible that give children easy takeaways they will carry with them for a lifetime. And 50 scripture-based prayers introduce children to the idea of praying God's word. So that's just a little introduction to that Bible. The features we're going to see then are 200 character callouts next to the Bible text, um, 50 scripture-based prayers, full-color multi-page comic strips based on the Garden cartoon series, Bible book introductions, activity pages, and Bible learning lists, such as the names of God, Bible verses to memorize, miracles of God, and scripture promises. So let's take a look at this here. Now, my daughter's really excited for me to review this. She's six. She is here with me right now. So if you see the table shaking extra often, that's probably why. Or you see little hands getting into the video here. That's why, because she was very interested in um, me reviewing this Bible. So it's going to have one yellow ribbon marker. There's no page gilding or anything. I mean, it is a hardcover. That's probably also good for kids to not have that feature. And there they are. Yeah, she's really excited to color these pages. I told her she had to wait until I reviewed the Bible first. I wanted to show you what they looked like originally, and maybe we can come back and do an update video at some point. And you can write your name, this Bible belongs to, and from. Yes, yeah, so we have a, a presentation page here. <laughs> yeah, this Bible belongs to, from, and date, and then we have Matthew 17, 20 referenced here. Faith as big as a mustard seed. And then there's a coloring page you can do here. And this is a little bit thicker, like cardstock, so they could color on it and not ruin any of the pages. Okay, one second, please, okay? Let's go over the beginning of the Bible here. Okay. So this is the um, presentation page at the beginning, and then we have the table of contents. And we see all of our things, and I forgot to say something. It's okay. Now let's, <laughs> let's keep going here, and then I'll let you comment on some of the things we have in here some of the features okay. so we have an introduction to the garden bible from the illustrator yes. <laughs> a preface to the international children's bible okay and then we're going to have why should i read the bible um, here's the names of god so they list the name and then they have the scripture reference to go with that so that's kind of cool we have the miracles of Jesus, again, the same layout, and then kids in the Bible, which I thought was a really interesting little section here. So you, you find out who, like Samuel and David, you don't think about some of that, but they were actually like children when some of these stories happened. They were really young. We also have Joash, who became a king when he was only seven years old. Uh, we have the beginning of Jesus' life, children coming to Jesus, so several examples of children in the Bible there. This just lists out all the Bible illustrations that we're going to find. I was going to say that. <laughs> and then we're going to get to the Old Testament. So at the beginning of each book, we're going to have an introduction. We're going to get um, have information about who wrote it, when it was written, why it was written, and First. what's in the book. And then we're going to have a double column layout. I believe this is like a nine point font. If I'm not correct, I will post that in the description. Um, down here in the bottom margins here. Hold on, you're shaking the table a whole lot here. We're going to have like Lenny says, Lucy says, and they give you little notes. So for example, this one says the word Genesis means beginnings. 
The first book in the Bible is the written record of the beginning of everything except God. God does not have a beginning. He has always been and always will be. And that's referencing, referencing Genesis 1.1. Over here we have Lucy says, God said, let us make human beings, not let me make human beings. That's because God is Father, Son, and Spirit. They are three persons, but they are one God, and we call that idea the Trinity. And that's referencing Genesis 1.26. Okay, you also see some illustrations throughout, like the beginning of sin here. Uh, we see the story of Eve eating the apple from the serpent here, Genesis 3-6. Yeah. And that was actually um, a bad snake because he was actually Satan trying yeah. to trick her. Yeah, that's right. So then we have the boss says notes here, don't listen to the devil, and then it gives you a scripture reference. Okay, and then more notes throughout of Lenny and Lucy say to help children just understand and apply what they're reading. And there's another Lucy says. I see that, yeah. Here is Adam and Eve being forced out of the garden. Yes, because they ate that poison apple. Yeah, well, it wasn't poison, but God didn't want them to eat that, so yeah. they sinned when they ate that apple or that fruit. Yeah, because that snake tried to get um, them to leave the book. Right. So we're going to have our chapter numbers and our headings in blue. Here's a, one of the full color kind of little co comic strips here. And I like how the it tells like the Bible verse like when she tells him the Bible. Yeah, so story. it's telling Bible stories kind of like in a cartoon comic strip way there. Yes. All right, so let's keep going a little bit here. Skip ahead a little bit. There's the Ten Commandments. Yes. David and Goliath. He's here, a big giant. Yes, he was. Here's a prayer prompt. This is pray, 1 Samuel 20, 42. Thank God for your friends and pray for them. And there was another one. Oh, watch out. Watch for the camera there. Oh, Okay, I we're have... so professional today, but that's okay. I have no idea what that picture was. <laughs> that's like okay. There. Well, you'll have plenty of time to read through it. I'm just showing a quick, ex quick walk through of it here. Um, you can see it's a black letter text. I'm gonna read it many times. That's good. It's a black letter text in the New Testament here. And another. Mother Lucy says, "Call yes. out." Yeah. I forget what her name is. That's now. okay. What? So you can see this is really colorful, really engaging for children while still having the full Bible, the full scripture. Because um, we have a lot of books that like tell, you know, books telling the Bible stories. But she really likes being able to have a, a real Bible with all the scriptures available. So and it, it's nice to have that option. And it says what story it is. And it says Matthew 13. Yes, it does. All right, so let's go ahead and skip to the end here. Maybe. I think it's not. Okay, so we have what God promises. So it gives you some promises and scripture references for those. And then it has I can memorize scripture and tells, gives kids some um, tips on how to memorize scripture. And then gives them some options here, like verses about Jesus, about God, about God's good news. Now sit still because you're shaking the table really bad. They can't see your nice Bible here. Then we have the Garden, Garden to Topical to index. index. Yeah, so it has like being a good friend, being brave, being kind, respectful, patient, responsible. Yes. And then gives kids verses to look up for each of those topics. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to have the ICB Dictionary. So if there's some words that we don't know while we're reading, we can look them up in the dictionary, which is always helpful. Yes. And okay, there see if I missed anything is here. the writing, and there is the... That's a map. It's I the mean, world of Israel's map. ancestors. Map and another piece of the map. Yeah, hold on. Let's see if we missed side. anything here. Okay. Right. Looks like we have some right. reading plans in here as well. Whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> Yeah, so even have, more. So we have reading plans like 30 days with Jesus. 
um, 90 day and Bible there overview. there is even more. Yeah, and then the whole Bible. Right, 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 right. Contributors. Right, right. And then right, some, like, two, right. two pages front and back of lined paper for any notes. And there is all the maps. And yep, there they are. The maps, and there is the cover. There's a final page to color, which I'm sure she'll be doing that real soon because she likes art. Yes. Okay, so that is the Garden Children's Bible from Thomas Nelson, available in hardcover and I think an ebook option. Uh, my six year old is very excited about it. Uh, I would say this Bible is probably good for about maybe like ages five to 12 ish. So, yeah, it's a really good option for kids. has a lot of engaging um, pictures and those little call-outs at the bottom of each page. So it's a good way to get um, children engaged in the actual Bible. It's nice to have those storybooks that just give us this, uh, the Bible stories in a smaller book. But I just think it's also really beneficial for kids to have their own Bibles. And this is a great way for a young child to have that Bible and be able to read the actual scripture and with all those helps and colorful images and everything to um, catch their interest and keep them engaged, I think this is one that they would be able to read for quite a few years here. So again, that's the Garden Children's Bible from Thomas Nelson. Check it out.